All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the skills review for this chapter. So we're going to go back and make sure we are good at graphing, factoring, and simplifying radicals. So the first one, uh, we have to solve it for y. We could do the standard form cover method, but I'm going to go ahead and just solve it for y. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So we're really looking at uh, what here? We're looking at negative 3y equals, we've got negative 12 minus 2x. And then i got to get the y by itself, so I'm going to divide everything over here by negative 3. So that the, those cancel, we're left with y equals, then divide each of these. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. And then a negative 2 divided by negative 3 becomes a positive. So this is 2 thirds x. So once I have it written like that, now it's great to graph. I'm going to start at 1, 2, 3, 4. You start the number without the x, that's the y-intercept. And then you go up 2 over 3. If you want to do more points, the opposite of that would be down to back three. Down to back three, you can put a couple more points in here, draw in your line like that, and you are good to go. Fantastic. So factoring all kinds of different factoring. In this case, I look at it, the first thing I should always look for is their greatest common factor. Sure, what divides both four and two? A two does, and they both have an x in common, so I'm going to pull out two x. What's left in the parentheses? So I'm going to undistribute. Four divided by two is two. x squared divided by x is x. I pulled a 2x out, so I'm left with plus 1 here. So remember, always double check these. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x, so it definitely works there. Simplifying radicals. I'm looking for perfect squares. Remember, I know 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6, blah, 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 blah. What's the biggest one that goes into 40? It should be 4. I believe 4 goes in there 10 times. And I, the reason I picked that is, do I know the square root of 4? Sure, it's 2. I don't know the square root of 10, so I'm going to leave it alone. This is the simplified form. So radical 40 is really 2 radical 10. Awesome. So the next one, same thing. I'm going to solve this for y. So if you want to pause it and practice on your own, we're looking at 5y equals negative 10 minus x, Gandhi. And I'm going to solve for y, so I need to divide both sides by 5. So y is going to equal negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. And then this is like a 1, negative 1 over x. So this is negative 1 fifth x. So now I can graph this. I start at the negative 2, the number without the x. There's the y-intercept. I'm going to go down 1 over 5, put a dot. I like to have more dots on there. So the opposite of down and over is up and back. And that'll be here. And then whoosh, draw that guy in there. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Uh, there's the line there. Excellent. So now this case, I look like above. Is there a greatest common factor? Is there something I can pull out of this? No. So this is a trinomial. This is when we are like doing a double distribute when I have the two parentheses. So in this case, because the leading coefficient is 1, there's nothing up here. You know, I'm looking for what multiplies to give me negative 24, what adds to give me negative 5. Um, in this case, it's not too bad. I'm saying, what, 8 times 3? And then how, check out the signs. Who has to be negative? I want negative 5 and a negative 24. So one of these has to be negative. It's got to be the negative 8 because negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Excellent. And then when I simplify radicals, another rule of simplifying radicals is we never leave a radical in the denominator. It can't be in the bottom of the fraction. So to get rid of it, you multiply it by that same radical. And the reason we do that, what is radical 5 times radical 5? Well, I mean it's radical 25. And then on top is 3 radical 5. But really, when I think of a square root times a square root, it's just that number. Square root of 25 is 5. Top does not simplify, so we're looking at 3 radical 5 all over 5. This is a rough looking 3, but if I keep drawing it, maybe it'll become better. And that's it right there. I hope that helps you out, so you can reference this on the ones coming up. Uh, good luck with these. Peace.